Hi everybody. So today I'm going to do a review of the NIV Beautiful Word Bible. This one is the updated edition. It includes pill and stick Bible tabs and over 600 full color illustrated verses. So really a pretty box. So it's a clamshell type box. So I'm going to hold that right there in case you would like to pause and read that top section. Goes over the fact that there's a hundred additional illustrated verses. So that is neat. And then here's our features. There are some examples of the artwork on the inside. This one is called the Golden Floral, so it's a leather soft overboard. It's got an example of the font. And then here's our ISBN number. Retails $59.99, and you can find it for less online, and I will put a link in the description box as well. So this Bible here measures out at eight and a quarter inches tall, six and five eighths inches wide, and is an inch and three quarters thick. So we've got a tan colored head and tail band. You can actually see the signatures there folded over. So plain white page edges. So really a pretty cover. And this, the way that the texture is, I don't feel at all like I'm gonna scratch that with my fingernails. So that is nice to know. So really a nice texture. We've got all that perimeter stitching. So it kind of has a really nice sheen to it in the right light. And then on the spine, we've got that floral design that wraps around there. And that is just a really pretty color. Plus that just kind of adds like a little bit of a different texture to it. So on the spine, we've got beautiful word, new international version, NIV and Zondervan. So really a nice Bible, really a pretty color. It's a nice size. So here's what the tabs are going to look like. So a bunch of different colors. So you can choose to put that on if you'd like. We do have a presentation page. Then we've got our title page, which is really pretty. We've got our table of contents goes over the books of the Old and the New Testament. And then it does stay fairly open, but it's this one's not broken yet, so it's probably not gonna lay totally flat for me, but it will stay open. We'll have the alphabetical order of the books of the Bible, letter from the editor, tip for Bible art journaling. So very useful tips on here. So I'm gonna get you up closer so I can show you those. So the first one that they start out with is use the right pen. So that is very good advice. So it also says practice on scrap paper, use some of the back pages, you can integrate with washi tape. So there's pill and stick. So any type of stickers you can use in here. There's, you can also stencil and stamp. And then it does say appreciate the paper. So use the translucency to your advantage by tracing your favorite images directly onto the Bible paper. So that's good information. Get inspired and then don't stress about mistakes. You will make them, but just learn from them and let go of perfectionism. So awesome page as far as for the advice that they're given there and all the tips. So then we've got a preface to the NIV. Now we get into the Old Testament. So already we can see how pretty these pages are going to be. So we've got a single column layout. The font is going to be 9.9, .9. so really nice and clear. And then this one is in the NIV Comfort Print, so very nice the way that they've done that. And I like the way that they've got the different color where we can see the beginning and then also Genesis. So hopefully the camera sh shows that that is a different color. But there's going to be a ton of artwork in this one. So again, there's going to be over 600 full color illustrated verses. So a lot of them are just going to be in the side columns. And then you're going to have your note taking space, but there's going to be a lot of full page ones. There's going to be some that are going to be a two page spread, but just absolutely gorgeous the way this is done. So if you're not artsy or creative and you want a note-taking Bible and you do want to have some artwork in it, this would be a great one for that. There's a nice two-page spread on the Ten Commandments. And then all of the artwork is going to be in the same area where the text is. 
So we've got Exodus 34, 6, which is just right over here on this page. So I do like the way that they've done that. Now the margin space, if you just look at the little lines, so basically they've got the little dotted lines. So let me find a better spot here. Find a page with nothing on it. Okay. So our little dotted line section, so those measure, they're like an inch and a half to inch and five eighths on the line. But if you measured from the, where the words are to the edge of the page, then you can actually get a little bit more space because you're going to have two and an eighth of an inch there. So tons of space for all of your notes, all your artwork. And again, we've got the, I think right there you can see worshiping other gods and judges and how that is in a different color. So I'm just going to flip through and show you some of the artwork in here because it is just so, so pretty. And there's a lot of different artists who are going to have a good variety. So you'll have some pages where you might have a full page and then just the sidebar there. You're going to have some sections where there's nothing on there. But really just very nicely done. There's another nice two-page spread, but the colors and everything in this, to me, I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. So very, very pretty. So this would definitely be a really good Bible to start off your reading plan for 2020. So here is our ribbon. I'm going to get you closer. So it's kind of like a pastel, almost like a mint green color. It is just a single satin. But that color, let me show you that against the cover. So that looks really nice on there. So you can kind of see a little bit when the light hits that. It almost looks like it's got a sheen to it a little bit. But just really pretty Bible. Plus it's a good size. So if you're looking for something to be able to take some notes in, this would be a good Bible to do that in. So I'm just going to show you a few more of these pages with the artwork. So here's a good example where there's nothing on there. But you can see here how nice and clear the print is. And of course the camera is always going to accentuate ghosting. Where when you look at it, when I look at it just with the naked eye, the only time I notice it is in the sections where there is no text. But if I look at the camera, then I can see more. This one is going to be red letter. And one thing on their red, they really did an awesome job. You can see that that is a nice deep shade of red. So not pink at all. So I was very impressed when I opened this and turned to the red letter. Because that can either make it or break it on a red letter Bible. So I really like that one. So very fitting on that one. And anybody should know that verse. So again, just a really nice Bible. Lots of pretty stuff in here. So, and sometimes when you see some artwork with the verse, it does aid in memorizing it because you think of the image that you were looking at, you know, when you were studying the verse and memorizing it. So, like you could think of the, the banner here with the cross when you looked at that one to kind of help you in memorizing it. So, I find that artwork in Bibles can sometimes really aid in that. So, we've got the table of weights and measures. Then we've got the index of the artists and their work. So I'll just pan down this so you can look at the names in case you're looking for anybody particular and want to know if they did any of the work in this one. Then we're going to have some blank pages for notes. So it's going to have those same little dotted lines if it'll focus. So they're faint enough that you can keep your line straight, but they're not so bold that it overpowers a page. So you've got five pages for that. And there's going to be a note regarding the type, which is going to be from 2K Denmark. 
and it is going to be unique to the NIV. And then we just get back to the end of the Bible, but really a pretty, pretty Bible. And again, you can either use the tabs or not, you know, just kind of depends on if you want to put them on or not. And so on the back, it kind of gives an example of how that will look. So there's going to be the different colors. So you can either go with the tabs and have it look a little more like that or without the tabs. So again, this is the NIV Beautiful Word Bible, the updated edition. There again is the ISBN number. I will put a link in the description box. And again, just a really pretty Bible. So if you're looking for a new Bible, this would be a great option. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.